so uh, we are manufacturing an intelligent robotic platform Pogquo Pogquo is a quality assurance companion which is an a robotic platform which can train to mimic human repetitive tasks with a basic intelligence so currently people like uh, different kind of OEMs and system integrators are using our platform to tackle the jobs which is uh, impossible for a human hand to do especially in the quality assurance activities okay. the current model we have a, a robot in, inside which is uh, currently a single stylus end effector is fixed which is replicating a single human finger so the you can see the stylus tip is uh, acting as a single uh, finger and moving and pressing some positions and the pressure and the force we can control then we can take the quantified data from the robot uh, how much pressure is applying and uh, what kind of action it is um, doing and uh, uh, one camera on the top of the system will tell you what exactly happening on the device without uh, altering the system like uh, we can even take the feedback from the device itself uh, using the combination of the vision system we can say like after clicking one button how much time does it take to pop up the next window or are, are they missing any any window or uh, is there any flickering effect is there that kind of different experience uh, and uh, user, uh, user, uh, usability or the uh, endurance test can be done using this platform. So one of the important thing, the ability to replicate human kind of touch and feel make us uh, unique from the existing field itself, which means we were able to replicate human kind of touches with the control pressure which is there everywhere but the amount of quantitative information in terms of temperature or the vibration from the surface we touch physically is making us unique and another thing in terms of integra integration the time which is very less which is easy uh, to integrate the existing Coco to the any existing testing framework out there in the world that is again uh, one of our uh, USP. There are three areas which we directly focus. Uh, one is avionics, uh, automotive and uh, medical. So all these areas, if we make an error in this product, that is directly going to harm a human. So when it comes to the industrial uh, connected device, especially in the automotive sector, Few of our customers directly using our platform to understand how uh, durable is their software hardware combination and what will be the lifetime uh, in order to uh, complete the millions of cycles of test both in software as well as hardware level, uh, level uh, to identify what is the um, uh, system dependency and uh, uh, how as a user they are feeling like an uh, experience test and uh, endurance test how reliable in in different geographical location in a different environment condition all those parameters we are helping them in in terms of quantify the data and collecting and uh, um, giving to the test engineer so the engineers can easily understand what exactly happening inside their device and they can take a easy decision based on the quantified information So currently we deployed areas where directly human can go and sit there and uh, do the job but uh, it is not possible to do them with a continuously like a uh, six three months or uh, six months without any breaky so in future what we un understand uh, especially in the space and underwater there are some areas where we can't send a human if we even if we send a human the bigger glove on their hand or the situation or atmospheric pressure is not gonna give us like complete freedom to tackle the situation so uh, like india already mentioned 2013 they are going to in, uh, implement international space station so all this space exploration the maintenance will be one of the key challenge which we would like to address so our uh, robotic arm not this one the next uh, r&d which we are doing in-house which is a replication of human hand as such with a touch and feel functionality 
that can definitely handle the situation either remotely or by adding some existing intelligence. Uh, we proved that that's the reason why we signed an MOU with the Lockheed Martin. So um, in crisp manner, Lockheed uh, are, uh, we all know they are building a lot of fighter aircraft. So when it comes to the aviation, including the fighter aircraft as well as the commercial aircraft, there are complex system inside the cockpit to control the uh, flights. So all this system, in the early days it was completely manual uh, by rotating knobs and toggles and all. Now they are slowly integrating touch screens into the system. So completely testing all this touch screen interface with a couple of uh, complex uh, different kind of switches is beyond a human hand capacity. So specifically we are directly helping and also including F-21 there are some particular uh, aircraft interface we can uh, help them in terms of assuring the quality of the way a pilot is going to interact with the fighter jet. So our mission will be uh, building uh, a separate COCO uh, the aviation model and give them in order to come tackle or complete the existing cockpit interface testing. Mm -hmm.